Hey, what's up? I don't even know how to like do this. I don't know how people like talk to yourself on this or whatever, but. So I really, really, really want to make a mini movie. Hey guys, my name is Ramir Griffin. Um, and what, so what this is gonna be is like a behind the scenes kind of like bloopers, kind of like insight of everything that went on on behind the scenes at Contention. And um, no, I don't, I didn't want to just make a movie, just make a movie. I wanted to tell a story. I wanted to have people have conversations. I wanted people to watch it more and more and kind of like notice things that they noticed the first time they seen it. This is a really great project, something I'm proud to have people help me bring this into fruition. And honestly, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for everyone involved. It was just an entire group process. Um, my, the pretty much origin of contention, if, we're, if we want to be technical, if people have been watching me for a while, they know I had a series called College Musical. So I would write out like what would happen in College Musical 1 and College Musical 2, and I had a College Musical 3 in the works. And the beginning scene of contention, the whole gym scene where we set up the love triangle and everything like that, was supposed to be the plot for College Musical 3. You was? You know how my grandma is big, so I know how you feel, bro. I'm trash. <laughs> I'm top. <laughs> on the phone, I'm like, am I dripping off? Am I yeah, you're dripping off. Shoot, right. about to so I'm gonna stay like. I'm sorry, when he say Chinese, still be like right here, and then right. there you can go. Wait. So Chinese is like his second line. You want Chinese? I skipped the whole line though. Wait, I, I skipped. Hey, that's what I got us. Some Chinese food. Yeah, I heard you. My fault. I forgot that. You good. I wasn't saying big. Alright, fine. Be like, alright, fine. Hang up. Take the ball. Got you, got you, got you. On me? Yep. Alright. Alright, yo. Start over, start over, start yeah, it was perfect too. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't say it fun, so I went through like years. Yeah, it ain't fun. Like, that was good though. If you don't mind me, if you don't mind me, if you don't mind me interjecting my, oh. Like, subscribe, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> she started mouthing it. She started. Fuck it. So wrong for me to. Diddle daddle, the dabble 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 dabble. Yo, 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 in the beginning, I had someone else in mind for the coach, but I'm very glad that Brad kind of simulated into the coach because I feel like that's who he is. That's Coach Ham. That's Brad. You know what I'm saying? So, and in the beginning, the cat, our casting team, we had like a list of people who we just want to cast, and we had like, you know what I'm saying? Not to be creepy, we had their Instagram pictures. You know what I'm saying? We had them all in a document and kind of figure out like who would be the best fit for this role. How do we envision Kevin looking? How do we envision Chelsea looking? You know, so it kind of was like that the whole casting process. And I originally casted Brad for the police officer, but I'm kind of glad. I'm I'm actually really glad he was a coach because I feel like that he played that role perfectly. What do you mean? Like, well, somebody, somebody, like, well, 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 somebody
Touch up Gray. Touch up Gray. You got anything for behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, it's been a pleasure. The start of my uh, widely spanning acting career. Can't wait. <laughs> I will always remember Contention and Robbie Griffin and everyone else. So much fun. <laughs> I don't know. The, the rain scene. About? We was outside doing that scene so many times. And it was cold and it was rainy. And that's my first time really shooting outside. I think that was probably like the third or fourth scene we actually done, you know. Uh, it was one of the earlier scenes that we uh, completed during the time when him washing his face with water and then the water still turning on. So you, you hear the rain going on and then it's raining and he's sitting out. No one in, no one in a right mind will sit outside in the rain on a step, you know? It shows that there is something wrong. Kevin is battling some conflictions. Grace was on right now. Hi. Oh, so oh, sorry. I'll make sure we're far from the camera. So take it. <laughs> Whatever you're ready. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You got 23 points. Three. Oh, sh. <laughs> I'm so proud. No, I'm not. I'm not proud of you. Oh my god. Hey! hey. Cutie alert. My bed. Man, extra. Alright. So let me go again. So. Hey! Cutie alert. Hey! Cutie alert, cutie alert. And then, uh, what that part's right. But I'm only holding the hey part. Yes. Okay. That's, that's the part I'm holding. Yeah, oh. just slow down when you say cootie alert. You don't gotta say it fast. Oh, like, cootie okay. alert, cootie alert. Uh, okay, so, I'm like, hey, cootie alert, cootie alert. What did I put my spray? Or so, the elevator scene, uh, that was kind of like almost on the fly because I, I wanted Chelsea and James to have their conversation somewhere, but I really didn't envision like where it would be. We had some ideas. Would it be outside? Would it be in a stairwell? We can get some nice like over the top angles of them talking on the stairwell. But um, I was like, you know what? Wouldn't an elevator be cool? And I was talking to members of the team, and it was like, yeah, let's try an elevator, you know, because you know, it's kind of like a conversation that Chelsea don't really want to have, but she's trapped, like you know. In the elevator ride, and she can't really go anywhere. She has no choice but to hear James out. Um, but you know, it was a uh, yeah, the elevator wasn't but so big. It probably it wasn't that big. And so me, Xavier, you know, Victor, and Karina, we were just pretty much in the four corners in the elevator, redoing the different scenes, redoing the lines. People had opened the elevator and came in on us a bunch of different times. It was a uh, you know, it was, it was cool though. I've never uh, shot inside an elevator, so uh, I like how it turned out. He's too blind to see it. I just want you to know I see right through you, and I don't like the way you treat my bro. Bro, when I tell y'all that every day on set was something I look forward to, if I knew I was filming at 5 o'clock on a Wednesday, Tuesday, all the way, and Wednesday, all the way up till 5 o'clock, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. It, it honestly. It's different when you're working with like just cast members and just crew members. But I was working with friends. I was working with pretty much family. Behind the scenes, <laughs> right? This kind of scary. <laughs> I ain't never working for somebody that ain't paying me no more, bro. <laughs> bro, they need to put headlights down. He I mean, um, he got me walking to the next scene. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> we walk to the next scene out here. You know that? This is a struggle film. We walk to the next <laughs> scene. I'm like. Higher or lower? Like I'm a, I'm a John Legend. Like, uh, try to sing. Baby lock the door. Try to sing that song when you go super low. Baby lock the door. Uh -huh. Now you can't get that. Not okay, yet. so now you know you, you like can't sing songs that are that. Let's see how you did it. Baby. Well, you actually. Whenever you're ready. Hold on. I don't know why I keep smiling. Right? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> why is so fucking hard? <laughs> All right. Action. <laughs> Y'all probably yeah. losing it in a stereo Cut. contest. My okay. fault, I'm sorry. I had, to finish, I had to finish my punchline. I had to finish my joke. All right, we cool. I know you're tight. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. 
behind it. Sorry, she got me. Alright, ready. Can you Oh my god! <laughs> hey! hey. Your location, babe. Focus on communicating because I don't need the time and place to come through. Place to come through. At times I wonder why I fool with you. It wasn't new to me. It wasn't new to you. Every day on set was just amazing. It was hilarious. It was funny. It was great energy, high energy. People was excited, you know. And um, was willing to, to learn and to change. And people was willing to accept it into their roles and be their character, you know? And um, every day I would say, I'm telling y'all, it was great, bro. Y'all seeing the bloopers, we would have fun. We would, honestly, I'm not going to like, sit here and like cry on camera, but like, honestly, like, the whole contention cast and crew are kind of like, one of the main reasons I will miss my time here at college. And I'm kind of like, you know, I kind of wish I knew these people in, 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 in like when I was coming up, like freshman year, sophomore year, but it's all right because I think everything works out in perfect timing. The right thing happens when it happens for a reason. So, yeah, it was it was a, a truly great experience. And these were friends, you know, I was working with friends and every day every I'm, i can't even express that enough every time we will all come together it, it's it's a movie really i'm still i still get like goosebumps when i think about how packed that room is and that room wasn't packed for you know an event on that room wasn't packed for like an orientation event or like something like that's hosted by the campus no that room was packed for all the work that we spent the entire semester doing. That room was packed for all of us. That room was packed for each and every last one of us. That room was packed for you, Tariq, you, Karina, you, Brad, you, Najee, you, Matt, you, Victor, all the extras, all the crew. That room was packed for you, Tom, you, X, you, Seneca. That room was packed for everybody and all the hard work and all the sacrifice and everything that we contributed and worked hard to work. That room was packed for us. And I really, I, I think that is so, like, amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anything at Cabrini that packed before. And we did it. And I, I, I always, I know I could do it, but, like, sometimes I just, I don't know. I get to my own, I start to self-doubt self -doubt my own self, and like, I feel like, I would waste your time, you know? And I try to like fight those feelings, it's just kind of like, all right, stick with it, like, stay motivated and everything like that. And sometimes you're not, sometimes it's not that successful in doing that. I'm wanting to make this kind of like documentary, not as like a boasting or braggadocious type thing, not at all. I want to have this be something that you, you know, to instill inspiration into anybody who is thinking about doing something. Intention was an idea just in like 2018, and I didn't know it was going to happen. I had doubts. I had, I was like, why even bother? Why even like go for this? It's not going to work. People are not going to like it. No one's going to show up. I had every single thought you can think of about this film. I had it. And, but when you work hard at something, when you truly believe in something, and you make sacrifices, that's the key point. You have to make sacrifices. It'll happen. And I just want to instill that inspiration. So whatever you're thinking about doing, whatever you're thinking about leaping into, go ahead, leap. You know, grab a support team. Right, plan out what you're gonna do. You know, have deadlines, have goals, and leap. Go ahead. You know. So this is really something I'll take with me for like the rest of my life, and I hope you guys take that too. But 
thank you for watching this and thank you for watching Contention.